It's the largest recall in U.S. history. But so far, less than half of the 28 million Takata airbags have been replaced even years after the recall started. And one Inland Empire man was tired of waiting, so he reached out to two on your side. And CBS 2's Christine Lazar joins us now with this story. Pat and Rick, the original goal to replace all those recalled airbags by the end of 2017 will not be met. Far from it. One of the auto companies affected by the recall, Ford, says their vehicles are still safe to drive, but a Moreno Valley man says he is not taking that risk. This engine hasn't roared for a while. See, you got the battery charger on it. It sits so long that the battery just runs down. Walter DeVoe showed two on your side that he has let his beloved 2008 Blue Ford Mustang sit in his driveway here in Moreno Valley for a full year. I like the car. I'd like to drive it. I can't. The retiree says he won't drive his Mustang because he says doing so is like playing Russian roulette. That's basically what it is. You don't know if it's going to go off. He's talking about the passenger side airbag. It's part of the Takata recall, the largest safety recall in the U.S. In the notice that Ford sent DeVoe and millions of other Ford drivers, it says very clearly that the airbag could kill. A ruptured inflator may result in metal fragments striking vehicle occupants causing serious injury or death. So you read this and thought, I'm not taking a chance. No, absolutely not. I wouldn't do that. My family means more to me than driving the car. DeVoe received the recall notice for both his driver and passenger side airbags in July of 2016. He was able to get the driver's side fixed within a few months, but every time he's tried to get the passenger side fixed, he's told by the local Ford dealership and by Ford itself that they don't have the parts available. And what do you think that it's been nearly a year and a half? They're just leaving us hanging out to dry. This is probably the worst recall in American history. Jamie Court is president of Santa Monica-based Consumer Watchdog. And the reality is that uh, people who know that they have a defective Takata airbag and are frightened about it really don't have any remedies. Ford has told DeVoe they will not provide him with a loaner. Court thinks the federal government should have mandated that the car companies provide all drivers impacted by the recall with a rental car. If the federal government said that you're going to have to pay for a rental car until you get your recalled airbag replaced, we'd see those recalled parts a lot quicker. Do you think that you're overreacting at all? I don't think so. I think that uh, as a consumer, I should be taken care of. In a statement to us, Ford told us they will not provide loaner cars while customers wait for the recalled parts and that they're trying to get those replacement parts as soon as possible, but they would not give two on your side any sort of timeline. So as you heard from Consumer Watchdog there, these people who are driving these cars don't have a lot of options. Hopefully, however, this recall, how long it's take, taken, yeah. how it hasn't gone well at all, will be a lesson for the next one. Yeah, people are real nervous about having those airbags too. I mean, sure, and this doesn't make it any better, but hey. Christine, you yeah, worked it we'll out. We'll be watching. Okay. And can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on Twitter. Use the hashtag Two on Your Side and we'll see what Christine can do to help solve it.